Today we have quite a special watch that's come all the way from Australia thanks to Matt, the founder of this company Mass Watches. He sent this in for review, so thanks a lot for that. On the inside of this box, the first thing you're going to see is this drawing done by his son Tate. This is of a very nice, very colourful Irukanji jellyfish. This is a highly venomous jellyfish that's common in Australian waters that they have used to actually model their watch and to give its model name. So I thought that was a very interesting concept, so let's actually look at how that panned out. In reality, this was a watch that was funded through Kickstarter and Indiegogo, and today it is a reality here in front of us. Inside of the box, you'll get this travel pouch with a very nice black and black, you know, really stealthy look. It's a very good quality pouch, and it's always good to get something inside the watch box that you're actually going to be able to use, apart from obviously the watch. So. The first thing you look, uh, you'll see inside this pouch is these two nylon straps. Very good quality, thick, solid, no issues there. They have a signed uh, buckle and they have a quick release spring bar mechanism, which is always convenient, especially with these kind of bracelets, these kind of straps. However, personally, I wouldn't use this a color scheme on a dial such as the one I opted for, which is this one. This is their it's a pink stinger or the killer pink i'm not sure something something along those lines but it definitely is a beauty regardless of what the actual color scheme is called it is just gorgeous i mean look at how the light plays on that dial look at how that sunburst radial effect which by the way is one of the nicest looking radial effects that i've seen on a watch for this price this is priced currently at 425 australian dollars or 288 us dollars and it's just gorgeous just look at that lollipop second hand with the a top part in pink i mean the cohesiveness of this design and the things that they've done to this watch to just separate it from the competition because at the end of the day it can get a bit boring with the typical diver watches that's why i wanted to go for the pink watch but when i actually saw it in person it's not just a pink dial it's just so much more so many more details that have been put into this watch for example the fact that they've shaped the case to look like a jellyfish i mean if you see at the top it's quite narrow with that dome sapphire crystal and then it goes wider and out to the middle part it has this kind of bead blasted a uh, look to it kind of like a brushed effect very nice finishing on the case and then it has this bevel on the inside that folds into 39.5 millimeter part that's actually going to be touching your wrist so while it is a 42 millimeter case it feels a lot smaller than that and it feels very very comfortable on wrist i love the design that they've gone for at the back with this highly polished ito kanji jellyfish i love the pose that they chose to have that jellyfish in it looks very very aggressive very mean very cool now you can choose to have your crown either at the 10 o'clock or at the 4 o'clock. I went for the 10 because I don't have personally any watches in my collection at the moment that have this crown positioning. It's very obviously comfortable to wear because you don't have the problems of the crown digging into your wrist. Easy to adjust as a screw down crown. It's quite chunky. Very easy to adjust this Seiko NH35 movement. It's also water resistant to 200 meters. Here you can see an up uh, a close up of the date wheel a very nice finishing on it too one of the things that i really really thought was going to be a negative of this watch was the fact that the bezel is actually narrower than the case so if you look at the case the case actually juts out a bit more than the bezel and it if you think about it, you'd assume that that would make it harder to be able to actually turn the vessel. However, it's completely the opposite. It makes it so much easier for some reason. I mean, I really, really like the vessel action on this watch. There's very little playback. There's very little movement once it's locked into place. And it's a very, very easy and very nice uh, uh, vessel to actually use. Now you can see the signed crown with that mass logo. You can also see that it has drilled lugs, so you can actually change the straps in a matter of seconds, which is always a plus. I really like also how they've done these indices without any borders on them, so it's just the actual loom pips. I think it just looks really, really good. I mean, it goes really well with the whole design aesthetic that they've gone for. Here you can see how the anti-reflective coating on that dome sapphire crystal looks, and this is under a bright light, so keep that in mind. And once again, you can see just them. Um, just the, the whole look of it, I mean, with that ceramic bezel with a loomed insert, which, by the way, the loom on this watch is quite good. Um, I mean, it's just such a good design. 
I mean, I know that this has seemed more like an infomercial, like an advertisement for it, but there's really nothing I could complain about with this watch. I mean, I tried to find some kind of negative point, but there's really nothing. I mean, it's just such a unique watch, just such a cool, just such a fun watch. And that is everything that I want out of a micro brand watch. I want it to be different. I don't want it to be just run of the mill designs. I want it to be something that's going to stand out in my collection. And this definitely does. And it's not just for the color of the dial. Which, by the way, if you don't like this color, they also have it in blue and in black. So you can go and have a look at that on their website. And as you can see, it's a bit of a strap monster. It plays very well, even in this a uh, punchy pink color with quite a different variety of straps. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a very, very good piece and a piece that I'm very happy to now be able to have in my collection. And for the price that you pay for this watch, the quality you get, the originality that you get, and the... That je ne sais quoi that you get with the whole little kanji jellyfish, I think it's definitely a good buy. Till the next time, guys. Peace.